रजिस्ट नाउ Hey guys, hi! Very, very welcome to all of you to the session. This is your master teacher Harsh Priyam, and I'm live in front of all of you. So today I have come up with a very beautiful topic, and that beautiful topic is some tips and tricks regarding quadratic equation, where we can actually solve this quadratic equation pretty fastly, just in seconds. So I'm damn sure you all want to know that, yeah? Chalo. So let's start that and without wasting any much further time. So there is one trick which is actually used by even seniors like in CAT and uh, GMAT. So they also use this trick to find the value, the roots of a quadratic equation pretty fast. Okay. Just one thing that this method is actually applicable to only those type of equations where you have rational roots. It would not be applicable in that irrational root means it would be applicable but again you would not be able to find it out so let's see it first let's talk about it then we'll be discussing about it so here we talk about now we all know that in quadratic equation we have two zeros huh? and if i do that uh, middle term splitting so we make the factors and then we solve it for the zero yeah that's what we do so what is the trick what it actually so says so let me just show you so say for example if you have a quadratic equation uh, shall I tell it you using this or shall I tell you using uh, examples only? I guess examples would be much more better because this theory uh, you would probably understand very little. So let's directly jump into the question. So here's an example. So say for example, I have question number one. Now don't look at the solution. Let me just explain you what it really means. So you have a quadratic equation 3x square minus 5x plus 2. So our theory says that we have to multiply the first and the last term. So first and the last, we have to multiply it. So three twos are six. Now six has to be broken into two parts. Six has to be broken into two parts such that it should be equal to the middle term. Yeah, that's what we have learned. Uh, okay, that's cool. So six has to be broken such that we have to get minus five. And I guess we all know that that is minus two and minus three. Yo. Now, if you have reached at this point, after this, you can just directly write the zeros of the equation. You don't need to uh, write minus 2x, then minus 3x. So generally what we do, we do 3x square, then we do minus 2x, then we do minus 3x, then we do plus 2 equals to 0, then we take common, and then we do blah, 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 blah kind of thing, and then we get the answer. But if you have got this much, now you can directly write the zeros. Then the first zero alpha would be opposite sign of this, opposite sign i'm not saying plus i'm saying opposite sign so if it is a minus it will be plus plus and then divided by the a divided by the coefficient of x square so 2 divided by 3 we got the first zero. Second zero, that would be again opposite sign of this divided by the coefficient of x square mm -hmm. that is minus 3 ka opposite sign that is plus 3 divided by 3 hence value is 1 so you got a 0 2 by 3 and you got a 0 1 that's the answer, 2 by 3 and 1. Understood? Not understood. Not, un not understood or you want more examples, let me just show you one more. So say for example, let me just take one more example. 10x square minus x minus 2. Let's talk about it. So if I talk about this 10x square minus 10, uh, x minus 2. So again, first term is 10, second term is 2. So 10 into 2, 20. You have to break 20 into two parts. You have to break 20 into two parts. Uh, the, the easiest could be 5 into 4, 4, 5 is a 20. So 4 and 5 and we would not be taking any other options because we also need to make the middle term. That's what we have learned that we need minus 1 here. So 4 and 5. So how would you get minus 1? Minus 1x. One so I am damn sure you know that that you have to use 4 and minus 5. Because 4 minus 5, 4 minus 5 will give you what? 4 minus, four minus 5 will simply give you minus x. Cool? Cool. Now your 0 would be what? So absolutely simple. Alpha, the first 0 will be opposite sign of the root. I mean, opposite side of this middle term splitting. So 4 plus 4 you have, you will do opposite sign. That is minus 4 divided by coefficient of x square. Minus 4 by 10, that is precisely minus 2 by 5. Yo. And the second 0, beta. Again, opposite sign of the number. So minus 5 is here, opposite sign, plus 5, and then divided by the coefficient of x square, that is 10. So 5 by 10, answer is 1 by 2. Yo, yo, did you all understand it, people? Come on, tell me. Yes, you all understood? Pakka. I'll, I'll give you one more example in case if you have not understood. So see, what you have to do, 
Just multiply first and the last. Whatever number you are getting, break it into two parts so that you can get the middle term. That's what we used to do earlier also. Now, after that, you don't have to do blah, 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 blah kind of thing. The easiest way. Whatever are the two numbers in which you have to break the middle term, just take the opposite sign of it and divide it by the coefficient of x square. Opposite sign of it divided by coefficient of x square. Opposite sign of it divided by coefficient of x square. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Okay, let me just show you a few more examples. One more example. Now we will do it in my mind, in our mind. So everyone, you should also not take pen and copy. So 21 and, uh, and 6. So 21 and 6, if I am not wrong, that should be 126. Yeah, 126. And 126 has to be broken to make it 11. So 126, if I am not wrong, so we'll have to do a pen and copy a little. 21 and 6, 126. If I am not wrong, 126 can be written as 3 into 7 into 2 into 3. I have done the prime factorization. Uh, then 7, 3 is a 21. No, uh, 7, 2 is a 14 and 9. Uh, 9 and 14, no, that also does not make a sense. Uh, then, then I would be going for 9 to the 18 and 7. Yeah, 18 and 7 is making a sense. Guys, here, if you take 3 into 2 into 3, that is 18 and 7. So, 126 can be written as 18 and 7. Yeah, it is given here. So, okay. You have to get minus 11. So, that would be minus 18 and 7. Minus 18 and plus 7. Minus 18 and plus 7, you have got these two numbers. Now, you have to write the first 0. So, opposite sign, minus 18 means plus 18, divided by the coefficient of x square. So, minus 18 by 21. Second 0, opposite sign, so plus 7, that would be minus 7, divided by coefficient of x square, 21. So, you have got minus 1 by 3, and here you would have got like 3, so 6 upon 7. So, 6 by 7 and minus 1 by 3. I hope you all got it, yes or no? Yeah? Pakka? Okay, let me just give you one more example, one more question, but this is for you guys. So please take a screenshot, try it at your home. A uh, little means it's not tougher, it's just a simple 3 into 28. Multiply it, take a screenshot, don't just look at the answer. Take a screenshot, do it on your own, and then you'll be able to see the, whether you learned it or not. Okay? Chalo. So my people, yes, that was the trick. This is the second trick which I really don't find it as a trick, but I have still shown you. But it is a bit complicated. So I would recommend uh, not to go with it. Okay. But still if someone wants this as well. You can take a snapshot. I've just kept it here. Because this is also a famous uh, trick. But I don't find it a trick. Because the type of calculation which we have to do here. Is actually same. See it becomes a trick in a higher level. But right now in our 10th level. It will not become a trick. Okay. So let's leave it. Moving ahead. So and sorry. These all one second and third these three questions you should solve using the first trick itself that will be very helpful for you okay so i'm again repeating first question take a screenshot second question take a screenshot third question take a screenshot try it solving at your home on your own okay chalo so people that was all if you have liked the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and do let me know how you felt about this video and this new concept of tips and tricks in any of the chapter. If you will be motivating me and I'll be getting a positive response, probably I'll be coming up with more such videos. Okay, so I'll be very eagerly waiting for your comments to see so that I can analyze that how you are feeling and how you are taking it. And those people who want to join me in my live revision classes and crash courses, you can always follow the link given in the description box that is vdnt.in slash ytpro. Go to that, you'll find all the details, fill them, and then you'll be reaching at a page like this that is subscription page choose the subscription according to your need and in this subscription use the coupon code HPPRO this HPPRO coupon code will allow you a extra discount okay chalo so that was all people see you all in the guys in the next session till then bye bye take care and good night bye bye